Good afternoon, and thank you for attending Toronto Police Service 33 Division. Today, Detective Sajeev Nair from our Homicide and Missing Persons Unit will be providing an update on homicide number 44 that occurred this year on June 27th. He will also be providing an update on an additional shooting that occurred. Detective? Thank you. Good afternoon. Thank you for uh, joining us here at 33 Division. Today I'll be providing an update on homicide number 44 of 2024 and a separate shooting incident. Uh, to recount, on, ju on June the 27th, officers from uh, 33 Division responded to a call for a shooting at 165 Cherokee Boulevard in the City of Toronto. It's in the area of Victoria Park in Finch. They located a 23-year-old uh, Marcel Bryan with a gunshot wound and he was taken to hospital where he later died. On August the 25th, at approximately 11.44 p.m., a 25-year-old male was shot at 134 Jamestown Crescent. He was taken to hospital and released. That shooting involved four male suspects. That investigation revealed that one of those males had an automatic firearm. Following an investigation, 21-year-old Brandon Turner was identified as the person responsible for the homicide and the shooting. On September the 4th, search warrants were conducted at four different addresses and one motor vehicle in the City of Toronto with the assistance of members of the Emergency Task Force, Mobile Surveillance Services, Homicide, the Centralized Shooting Response Team from Guns and Gangs, 33 Division, 31 Division, 22 Division, and the Forensic Identification Services. Brandon Turner was located at one of those addresses and arrested for first-degree murder and the discharge firearm-related offense. Officers located a Glock 9mm handgun with an extended magazine and a Romanian variant AK-47 with a high-capacity magazine at the same address. Images of those guns will be available on a media release going out shortly. Investigators believe this was the same automatic firearm used in the shooting by Brandon Turner at the Jamestown Crescent incident on August the 25th. Turner was subsequently charged with firearm possession charges as well. We would ask that anyone with information please come forward as we continue to focus our resources on those who are involved in this incident. We can say at this point in time that these incidents are not random. I'll now take a few questions. Can you just clarify the link between uh, Brandon Turner and the August 25th and September 4th incidents with uh, Marcel Bryan's shooting on, on June 27th? Brandon Turner, uh, we believe, is responsible for the murder of Marcel Bryan uh, that took place on June the 27th. Uh, we believe Brandon Turner is also responsible for the shooting at 134 Jamestown Crescent that took place on August the 25th. Of this year, so the uh, the only charge faced by Brandon Turner is first degree murder at this point, though. From the homicide squad, uh, we are charging him with first degree murder in relation to the incident from um, uh, Victoria Park and Finch. He's facing additional charges in relation to uh, the shooting from 134 Jamestown Crescent. Uh, I believe it's five charges, and he's facing additional charges based on the firearms that was located uh, where he was arrested, I believe it's 11 charges in relation to the two firearms that were found. Are you, are you able to say at all uh, regarding the firearms used in these incidents, not just the ones used in the incidents, but all of them seized during your investigations? Um, give us any idea of where they came from, have they been used in previous crimes, uh, just their sort of past? We believe the Romanian AK-47 variant was used in the August 25th incident. Uh, I can't speak uh, to the 9mm uh, handgun with the extended clip. Um, that's uh, going to have to be uh, forensically tested to determine any other linkages. Were they imported in from the U.S. or stolen from legal owners? Unfortunately, I don't have that information at this point in time. That will take some time. Well, you mentioned that the shooting that killed uh, Marcel Bryan was targeted. Um, can you share any information about why you believe it was targeted and what the motive might have been? At this point in time, uh, because the it's, a, it's an open court process before the courts, I can't get into those specific details, but I can tell you that it was definitely targeted. Was there only one shooter at that? Like, was he 
there with other people when the shooting happened, or was it just him as a lone gunman? Uh, no. Uh, in that incident, uh, there were two male uh, shooters. Um, we are alleging uh, that Brandon Turner uh, is one of them. Our investigation is still ongoing in relation to the identity of the uh, second uh, unknown person. Uh, and if anyone has information, I would urge them to contact uh, the Homicide Squad uh, or uh, provide information via Crime Stoppers in relation to the identity of the uh, second individual. At the time of that shooting, I was up there that day, there was some type of scuttlebutt or whatever about somebody possibly filming a video of, at the time of the shooting and then it, it happened? Is, it, is that true or can you get into any of that? Uh, I, I am aware uh, that we've all seen um, uh, an, a video that was posted on uh, social media. Uh, it's now part of the case and I won't make any comments uh, about that, uh, but it's already out there. What's the Romanian variant BK-47? So my understanding is that uh, they, they're, it's a variation of the AK-47. There are different uh, variations, uh, Chinese made. Uh, this one, is, I believe, is a, Ro a Romanian variant. Did it come from Romania? I don't know the answer to that question. Okay. The television shot is getting back to that. Uh, was he also known to police, or is this just a beef between the two guys and the person who died? I won't get into the uh, details of that, unfortunately. You can't say whether he was also known to police or not? I won't get into the details of that, unfortunately. Is the suspect uh, from Toronto? Yes. He is a resident of the city of Toronto. And, sorry, how many, um, how many shots were fired uh, in the shooting involving uh, Marcel Bryant? Uh, I believe they were in excess of uh, 20 shots fired. Do you know how many of those shots struck Brian? Uh, Marshal Brian uh, was shot and killed. Uh, and uh, at this moment in time, I will not get into the specific detail about that. Last question. The uh, two, uh, two uh, weapons that were collected, are they the two from the uh, first event or is there still a so we believe the uh, automatic uh, firearm was uh, the firearm that was used uh, at the shooting at 134 Jamestown Crescent on August the 25th. Uh, as far as uh, from the homicide, uh, uh, I don't know as of yet. It's going to be uh, determined uh, uh, via the Center of Forensic Sciences uh, through our partners there. Okay. Just one clarification of Jack's question. Um, when you said that you wouldn't get into the specifics of whether they were known to police, were you talking about um, uh, Brandon Turner or Marcel Bryant? Uh, I was talking uh, about uh, the victim, victim, Marcel Bryant. Is Brandon Turner known to police? Uh, I can tell you that Brandon Turner is known to the police. Several charges or violent, violent crimes? In the, in the uh, unfortunately, I'm not getting to that. I can't get into that, but he is known to the police. And sorry, just one more question to clarify something. Uh, Marcel Bryant at the time, uh, when it happened, it wasn't clear, so I'm just hoping maybe now if you could clarify for us whether he lived at the complex where he was shot. Uh, so, um, out of respect uh, for uh, uh, him and his family, I will not be answering that question.